Hi everyone, it's Peggy from Wild Magnolia Soaps and today we are going to make a mahogany teakwood scented palm free soap. This is a remake of one of our best selling soaps in this fragrance. Um, so let me go ahead and get started. We're using mahogany teakwood from Nature's Garden and I'm using Peacock Blue from Micah's and more. It's so pretty. And we're using Sunflower Yellow also from Micah's and more. All right, so let's get started. I've already pre-measured my oils and my lye and everything. So let's just give it a stir. <laughs> My solution. Stir this up a bit. fragrance. trace and I am really loving my new uh, Bon Senkin kitchen I think is how it's pronounced sick blender and uh, it's a lot quieter than my old one and it seems to be more powerful let's move this aside and now I'm going to split it up I'm going to do the uncolored batter because I think last time I made this it kind of turns the soap a little yellow so if my blue turns green well it, you know that's what it is I can't remember which supplier I used last time Ooh, it's getting thick okay one's a thick mover. But we're going to have to move fast. So sorry I haven't made any soap making videos lately. It's been super hot and honestly I have been melting. <laughs> I haven't wanted to do anything really. I've just been melting. Today is only supposed to get to be 77, so I'm very excited about that. I don't think I'm going to be able to stick blend anymore, so I'm going to try to mix this with by hand. So if I stick blend it anymore, it's going to get way too thick. sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so we're going to do the blue first. Now the question is, should I 
make layers and then try to swirl it or just leave it at layers. I'm going to leave a little bit for the top. Now I'm not looking for perfect layers because I can hardly ever get a perfect layer no matter how hard I try. Sure am messy. It's soap everywhere. It slips lopsided. Close enough. Make sure we don't have any air bubbles. Okay, now we're almost at soap on a stick point. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Don't think we're gonna have to worry about it falling through the other layer, so because it's thick. It's definitely the fragrance because right before this I made another soap with the exact same recipe only different fragrance and I didn't have any issues. Super thick. Stirred up. Boy, that is turned in. It was kind of lighter a minute ago. Now it's nice deep yellow. Make sure I'm still in the picture. Okay. swirl on the top out of this. It's not going to be the prettiest top, that's for sure. <laughs> it's acting like it's kind of a uh, Ricing a little bit, but it's not bad. Why do I always do this at least twice? Never happy with the first. Alright, good enough. That's what it is. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see if we can see the layers. Not perfect. I can see where it's kind of wavy. But that's alright. You know, I, I'm not going for perfection. We'll see how it comes out. Alright, um, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you stay cool today. Hi everyone, it's Peggy with Wild Magnolia Soaps and today I am going to cut yesterday's restock of Mahogany Teakwood Palm Free Soap. I apologize for the background noise, the neighbors are blowing leaves or something today, so I'm sorry about that. But let's go ahead and see how this came out. Remember this one got really thick on me. Um, so I really couldn't do too much with the design. 
I, I did layers and I know they're not perfect. I've never been able to get perfect layers, but I knew it was going to turn yellow. This is the blue that I used, which kind of turned to blue green. This is uncolored, the middle section here. So that's what the fragrance did to it. And then I used yellow on top, which I probably shouldn't have done, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's see how this turned out. Well, it's nothing spectacular. <laughs> it's just, but it smells fabulous. And it's a nice creamy, I made a really creamy recipe. So it's gonna feel good on your skin and it's palm free. It's not bad. It's just, eh, in my opinion, but I don't do, that's why I don't do layers too often, but this batter got so thick, I really didn't have much choice. I could have spoon plopped it, but I do that with so many, so I haven't um, done layers in a long time. And even though I got close, but it still looks good. I like the color combination. It's nice and bright and vibrant. So I hope everybody likes it. I hope you all have a good day. Thank you so much for watching.